editor Megan Greedy. Here's a look at the Monday, February 24th edition of the Herald Press. Um, local uh, law enforcement officers are kind of unsure about a proposed law that would require licensure or a, um, a reg and registration for certain mopeds. Um, they say that they're not quite sure if the licensure process is really what's needed, and they're not. They say they don't see a lot of problems with mopeds in this area. Uh, also in tomorrow's paper, we take a look at the daddy-daughter dance that took place this past weekend. It's always a very popular event and an opportunity for dads and their daughters to spend a little time together. Um, also this weekend was the Varsity Singers Midwest Showcase, which they kind of host as a fundraiser, and they host, uh, I think, more than 4,000 people were through coming mean, through uh, Huntington North, so it was a very popular event. Uh, it sounds like it was quite successful. The Varsity Singers sang as did the uh, new Crestview Show Choir, which is um, directed by John Wenning, who used to be in charge of the uh, Varsity Singers. So that was a, a good event as well. Um, also, the mayor announced that there will be a special meeting this coming weekend um, in regards to the part of the Trails and Parks system. There will be an Erie Heritage Park that will kind of pay tribute to the, um, the role the Erie Railroad had in um, making Huntington what it is today. Also in tomorrow's paper on the business page, uh, we take a look at Jake Stroop, Stroop, sorry if I mispronounced your name, sir, um, who is a new State Farm agent. He has taken the place of uh, Gib Young, who retired. Stroop has been in the uh, facility on Etna Avenue since uh, January, I believe. And then in sports, oh, also in tomorrow's paper, um, Huntington University students uh, competed in the I-69 challenge earlier this month. Which kind of gives them an opportunity to test their entrepreneurial skills and work with uh, students at other universities for a contest. And um, so yeah, check out that story. Um, in sports, there was a lot going on this weekend, uh, highlighted by um, Kyle Jolis, who for four years has qualified for the state tournament, finally um, went past the first round and was able to place fifth overall. So a big congratulations to Kyle. I know it was a, it was a goal of his to try to go as far as he could in the tournament in fifth place is quite an accomplishment, so congratulations. Um, also in tomorrow's paper, we take a look at the recap of the boys swimming team um, who had their sectional this uh, past weekend. Three individuals and two relay teams placed in the top eight at that swimming sectional. Also this weekend, the gymnastics team finished second at the North Central Conference meet Saturday. And um, in Huntington University basketball news, both the men and the women defeated Taylor on Saturday. The men won 55-44, uh, to 44, and the, women, uh, the men's game was at home, and then the women won at Taylor 59-50. Uh, to 50. So congratulations to all those teams as well. That is a quick rundown of the Monday paper. We invite you to pick up a copy.